Hey, this is Sarah Stevens, and this is my professional counseling skills vlog. Um, I actually really enjoyed um, reading the chapters, and um, actually really enjoyed the chapter nine videos. I had the blessing in undergrad um, when I was getting my associates in human services before my bachelor's in psychology to actually sit in on sessions um, with clients. Some patients, some counselors call them patients. Some counselors call them clients. Um, so I'll just continually say client. Um, but the sessions that I watched were very familiar to the counseling sessions that I have sat in on. Um, so I think they did a really good job. Um, and I say that because from my readings in chapter eight and nine, they possess the skills um, that a counselor should have. They were empathetic. They listened to the client. They were attentive to their behavior. Um, they did a great job reframing um, their thinking and they did really good with their interviewing skills. Um, I don't know if I said they were empathetic, but they were definitely empathetic. Um, I hope I'm not repeating myself. Um, and you could just see in the counselors that they gave those traits of being a spirit filled counselor. Um, or at least I saw that in the video. Um, another thing that I would say is I, that I did see a demonstration of theoretical orientation. And it actually caught me um, immediately when watching the videos. Um, I really think that they exemplified the Ivy model because they checked the boxes of all the basic skills of, like I said, attending the behavior. Um, they did a really good, a really good job um, questioning the clients. Um, they were encouraging. They did a really good job um, paraphrasing what the client was saying, um, which goes hand in hand with summarizing and getting the client to reflect on what they were saying. Um, they did a good job with that. And you could tell that they had already built rapport and that they had heard the client's story and that um, they kept going back, especially the second counselor, kept going back to, um, remember we talked about your goal, um, how are we going to, you know, attain that goal? And he did step by step, you know, how can you suggest what you could do with the next person you go out with? Um, how better can you think about um, when they turn you down? It's not them turning you down personally, but maybe they have something else that they need to do. Um, I thought they did a great job with that. I think both of the counselors saying that um, would be a good fit for me. But if I did have to pick one, I would pick the first one just because he seemed um, very client-centered and that's something that I'm very passionate about in counseling. And the question that I would ask would be, which counseling method would you be more comfortable with? Would you be more comfortable with um, interviewing the patient as client-centered or would you be more comfortable with um, interviewing the client um, as a more straightforward, um, goal-oriented counselor.